is just a just a little bit of what I found in my own medicine cabinet. And I'm a little bit embarrassed. If you're like me and you're careful about what you eat and you want to be careful about what you put in your body and how your body reacts to it, then you want to be careful about your over-the-counter medications as well. There is a pill or a potion for everything. We've got stuff for stomach upset. We've got daytime, nighttime cold medicines, things for sinus headaches and congestion. And of course, our Advil, Aleve, Tylenol, things like that for everyday aches and pains. So I want to just give you a couple of cautions about over-the-counter medications and then give you some food for thought about some things that you can do as alternatives that are a lot healthier and less taxing on your body. First of all, over-the-counter meds are just like prescription meds in that they go through your body's filtration system, namely your liver. If you take too many of these or if you combine them with each other or if you combine them with prescription medications, you can really be setting yourself up for some serious health problems, uh, namely liver and kidney damage, and there's some combinations that can cause heart problems. So you really want to be careful to read the label on each one of these. Make sure that you're taking it for the right reason and that you're also taking the right dosage amount. Now, the dose that you take is also important how many times a day that you take it. Some of these, you're not supposed to take more than a certain number of doses during a 12 or 24 hour period. So you need to carefully read the label to make sure that you are taking the right dosage. If you're on any prescription medications, some of these can counteract your prescription meds. So you wanna talk with your doctor, make sure that you read the label and the information that comes along with your prescription medications because it may give you some information about some of these OTC meds that you should not take. Now, for each one of these pills and potions, there is a natural holistic remedy. I will post this afternoon on Facebook some links to some articles and more information on this topic. And if you are interested, you need to like my Facebook page, which is at Fitness Nutrition Consulting. And if you type that into your search bar, that will be the very first thing that comes up. So I will give you some places to go to do your own due diligence, your own research to find things that will uh, take the place of most of these medications. And just as a couple of examples, if you have digestive issues, if you've got stomach upset or if you're not quite regular in that area of your life, there are several different things that you can do, things that you can drink, things that you can eat to make sure that your digestive system stays on track. Raisins, prunes, apricots, cranberries, and applesauce will help you if you are irregular. If you have stomach upset where you might want to take Pepto-Bismol or something like that or maybe grab the Tums or an Alka-Seltzer, you can make you an herbal tea with a little bit of ginger in it, or you can get some natural ginger ale. So those are just a couple of examples of what you can do as an all-natural remedy instead of reaching for one of these over-the-counter medications. And then the last thing I'll tell you is these have an expiration date. So a couple of times a year, you need to look through your medicine cabinet and look for the expiration date. Sometimes it's on the bottom of the bottle. Sometimes it's printed on some of the printed label around the bottle, but they do expire. And there is a proper way to dispose of both your over-the-counter and your prescription meds. And there is a company that, that will advertise and meet with you several times throughout the year in different locations to gather these things from you and dispose of them properly. So for more information about this, please visit my website and also visit Fitness Nutrition Consulting on Facebook.